who wants to sit there and do workouts when you know dang on well that it's just too much for you yeah, i'm getting back on the train y'all i'm back on the train you mad at him mad at me i said i'm not mad at you I'm like, work muscles and felt muscles move that i never thought that was possible so this is my chicken just like the movies how it's gonna say in the The lighting is good because this is the best it's gonna get today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine. I'm back with another upload. So if you're new, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button. You already know. Comment down below if you like this video and please do not forget to share because you never know who will want to see these results for the 2020 Chloe Trans two week shred. I'm so sorry about the late upload. It's been about two weeks. But who's, two weeks, but who's counting? I am actually in the middle of taking finals and college and it's a lot i have like five classes so if you know you know hello to all my new subscribers again my name is jasmine and this is my weight loss journey i talk about school sometimes i do ultimate cleaning videos but right now i am sticking to my weight loss challenge or my weight loss journey whatever you want to call it in this, I'm going to be talking about how I felt about the shred, the workouts, mentally how I felt, physically how I felt, some of the foods that I ate, and as well promote my Instagram. So, let's get into it. What shred did I do? It's the Chloe Teens Two Week Shred 2020 Challenge. Well, this one was released in August 2020, so it's like a year old. She does have a new one called Movember for last month, and I'm going to be doing next. I really like the workouts. Don't I like them? At first, you know, anything that you do the first time is going to be difficult. I did use pre-workout. I didn't drink any coffee and lemon, but we're going to get into that as well because I really am considering doing that this time around just to see if I do it for two weeks, how am I going to look? And if it really works out, I think I'm going to end up just doing that throughout my whole entire weight loss and just make it like my coffee in the morning. But I don't know because I really like matcha, so... I don't know what I want to do, you guys. But we'll figure it out. Why did I choose the Chloe Tings Challenge? I choose... I choose it. I chose the Chloe Tings Challenge because of the simple fact that I've seen so many videos on it. I love to see the results that everybody was getting. And it didn't look like nothing that I was going to, like, virtually try to kill myself doing. You know what I mean? Who wants to sit there and do workouts when you know dang on well that it's just too much for you? And with her, she has low impact and high impact but i'm telling you guys i did the entire high impact it was some days i did do low impact but i never did the entire video low impact it may have been like one or two exercises when i just felt like maybe i just couldn't push through the 30 seconds of doing it but i got through it in the most part so i know if i can do it you guys can do it so i definitely recommend it so if i had to pick three things that i liked about the challenge it's the fact that i definitely seen myself slimming down and um, getting like a little bit of muscular muscular physique if that makes any sense sorry if y'all hear my daughter she's in timeout so you know if you got kids you know really liked it because when i was working out i started to notice my stomach was going down and it was starting to get more toned my waist was going in as well kind of looked like i was like waist training it pushed my endurance and my stamina like i was really determined to get through the workouts and she keeps you very motivated throughout the workouts you know? i never thought that i could do burpees for 30 seconds straight she can definitely motivate you to get that done or get you up to that stamina so that's what i liked about it the third thing i liked about it you only do the workouts for 30 seconds at a time you're not repeatedly doing the same workouts over and over and over and over you know like the dance videos for example you do the same work same like four or five workouts doing entire three to four minutes but in this one like let's say if you do a 10 minute video you'll do about 20 exercises 40 seconds on 10 to 15 second rest so that's why i liked it it's targeted workouts who doesn't want to do targeted workouts like when i tell you my butt looks better it looks better when i tell you my stomach is going in when i flex you can kind of see my obliques like if i'm doing planks and stuff you can definitely see it and i just feel good it made me feel good and it was something fun to do i like the music all that so yeah three things i didn't like about it when i did work out i worked out for about 30 to 40 minutes there were some days i did a whole hour which i'm really proud of myself because i did the entire hour of workouts i want to tell you guys too i replaced her on the floor workouts with standing workouts and the only reason why i even did that is because i get things that's called penolite cysts and i get them the most when i'm doing like work like floor workouts like for the stomachs so if i'm laying on my back and they suck really bad so i learned that if i just do standing ab workouts and things like that 
it won't happen as much so yeah that was one thing I didn't like about it the second thing I didn't like about it is because I really didn't put any restrictions on myself with food I wasn't eating like crazy food I was still making healthier choices it was just that when I ate I just ate whatever time I wanted to and that's my I get hungry more at nighttime, but that's something I'm gonna be working on as well, so I can get that in check. And then the third thing I would say, I don't know, I really didn't have a lot that I didn't like about it. You know, I, the third thing I would say is I'm just mad at myself because I didn't like count calories or something like that. So the first day, like I said, my first day, it was, it wasn't that hard for me to get through it because I did a shred before that, so my stamina was up. But some of the workouts that she had us doing. I was like, oh no, but I still did it, you know. If I couldn't get it all the way done, I did the low impact, but it was a lot. The first the first couple of days was a lot. But when I got like towards like the third day, it started to become more easier. I started to push myself more and actually getting through the workouts without struggling. So I was really happy about that. So on the 14th day, I felt so good. I'm like I said, I always take pictures when you start these things or or, or like weekly photos if you're on your journey of losing weight because look, I'm, the scale did not move for me. The scale did not move. I stayed at 190, you guys. Like my weight hasn't fluctuating. Like I said, I've been counting calories, so the water weight is there. So I was a little down about that. But I will say, when I did take my pictures versus week one versus week two, well, start week one and week two, I could see a difference. Like my body was toning up. It looked like I was slimming down. But you have to remember, don't always trust the scale because muscle weighs more than fat. So I could possibly still be losing the fat, but I'm gaining muscle instead, and so that's what is heavier. So it may be, you know, that's what it is. I don't care as long as I'm losing fat, so the weight will come off eventually, you know? That's one thing I didn't like about it, because I am trying to get like to like 150, and just to work out for two weeks, and then you don't see the scale go down at all. It's like, did I do something wrong or anything? So that's why I'm, I always say take pictures. I'm happy I did take the pictures because I use that as my motivation. So I'll say, oh, I don't think this is working. I don't want to do this. But I can look from the, my first start week of the shred with one weekend where I'm at, and it motivates me to keep going. So that's why I always give that tip to, you know, so what did I eat? So what I want to do, I, I honestly don't remember a lot of what I ate, but I do post it on the internet. I didn't post a lot of it on the internet, but I will show you in a little montage of my stories. Okay, so I finally found out what I'm going to eat. My mom made this stir fry last night, and I was going to, I'm thinking about boiling some quinoa and eating it with that, but this is like really delicious, you guys. Like my mom cooks so well. Just finished burning my two leg quarters. I started burning these around it's like nine o'clock it was like nine o'clock this morning i just took them out and i'm seasoning them up i'm making some baked chicken tonight i'm going to use just a tiny bit of salt probably not a lot a little bit of um, avocado oil a little bit of butter and some roasted veggies so this is my chicken broccoli and quinoa casserole it's really good i like it and i'm going to be eating this little salad as well it's just some lettuce tomatoes so onion chris is going to have that with some italian dressing and a cup of water Hey y'all, I hope that you guys had a really good Thanksgiving. I did, and we're back to it tomorrow. But tonight, I am gonna pick out a little bit, because I didn't eat a lot earlier. Like, I didn't even eat half the food on that plate that I shared earlier. So tonight, I am gonna eat a little bit, and after that, we're gonna be back on track. So, see you guys tomorrow on day nine. And I hope that you guys, once again, had a very happy holiday. So like I said, if you're interested in following my cute and healthy page, please follow me with the description down below or you can just search me cute and healthy, all one word, K for the cute. Did I lose any weight? No, I did not lose any weight. I stayed the same weight, but I can definitely tell a difference in um, how I feel. I was drinking a detox tea, which you'll see in my reels or I'll just show it while I'm talking about it, but I did try this new detox tea. It was... I got it from the Dollar Tree and it was for like, it had star anise, ginger, um, peppermint, and all that in there. And it's supposed to, you know, clean you out and stuff. So I literally just ate my so called lunch. Um, but, and I drank my tea. The tea is actually good. It didn't taste that bad. I put a little bit of coconut sugar and stuff in there, but I liked it. 
I put apple cider vinegar, my lemon, and I just drank the tea. It didn't taste bad at all. I think I'm actually starting to like taste apple cider vinegar. It actually did do a pretty good job. It did bring my stomach down a little bit and I did feel lighter and like more energetic when I was drinking it. I drank that with apple cider vinegar as well. So, you know, that's about it. I don't know, nothing too shabby. Oh yeah, and I wanna tell you guys as well. Yeah, I'm getting back on the train, y'all. I'm back on the train. And the reason why I'm getting back on the coffee and lemon train is because it actually worked for me. The only thing is I don't wanna just drink all that. I was thinking about doing decaf and I did see one of the one of my viewers did comment that it doesn't release the dopamine from the brain to help you lose weight but I feel like it does still work because I've watched other videos of people who actually drank decaf and it actually worked so but I'm only gonna do it for these two weeks is that I want to see if it actually works like I said if it doesn't work in the two weeks I'm gonna get rid of it and then probably just find something else because versatile Vicky does have a new drink it's like basil and lemon and people are swearing by it so I do want to try that out as well yeah I'm gonna show you guys the before and afters and I'm gonna show you guys my reels as well so sorry for waiting so long to come back a company reached out to me and wanted me to try out one of their new products that has not been released yet I think it's gonna be released in the next few weeks I'm not for sure but it's called Slim X Fit. And what this is, is it is a cream that you put on your stomach and it helps you sweat more. Now look, I already sweat a lot. Um, what is that on my nail? I already sweat a lot as it is, you know, because I use my sweatband and stuff like that and it works great. But I do want to try this out. It is organic and vegan, you guys. I mean, I'm going to be trying this out. I'm going to be putting this in the week as well to see how good it works. I'm gonna be using this for the entire two weeks and we're gonna see a before and after as well on this. But I am gonna post a video for seven days of using this. So if you're interested in that, go down to my Instagram. Um, the I have a story up right now that you can guys can look them up and you know, get a good look on them and stuff like that. But thank you so much Slim X for sending me this. I cannot wait to use it. Well, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.